We begin tonight with drama on I-10 after the driver of this 18-wheeler leads police on a slow speed chase, ending on the east side near Sheldon in a SWAT standoff, shutting down both sides of the East Freeway for hours, which has since reopened. The driver, at first refusing to get out of the truck, before law enforcement send in a canine and end up, you saw there, pulling him out of the vehicle. That was about an hour ago. Yeah, dramatic afternoon. Jalissa Garza joining us live near the scene. Jalissa, what led up to all of this? Yeah, as you can imagine, it was just such a long day for deputies. You know, they still don't even know what exactly uh, what if the driver was impaired and in what kind of way the East Freeway just opening up right now and they just opened up the sh uh, feeder here on Sheldon Road. But kind of want to break down as you asked Rika, what exactly happened? So according to Ed Gonzalez with the Harris County Sheriff's Office, this happened at around 1250 just before one o'clock. He says they deputies saw that 18 wheeler on the side stalled. So immediately deputies put their lights on to figure out what was going on. Sheriff Gonzalez saying it could have been a medical situation. They really didn't know. So they wanted to check what was going on. Eventually that led into a, a slower chase, but still deputies couldn't get this 18 wheeler to pull over to stop. They tell me he was swerving. And so they were immediately concerned for people who are traveling on the East Freeway. They had to use spikes to get that driver to stop and just different type of tactics. Uh, eventually, as you mentioned at the beginning of the show, they had to send in a canine unit and eventually did get the driver out. They tried speaking to him in both English and Spanish, but there was no response. But I want to go ahead and, and listen to what Sheriff Ed Gonzalez had to say when we asked him about the potential charges this driver could face. He'll be facing some type of charge. What, what it is, it just kind of depends. Anything from uh, from evading, obviously, to depending if he was in, had anything in cargo that, that was invisible to the naked eye right now that we'll be able to check. So that'll be part of it. And we don't know if he's maybe possibly wanted for something or impaired as well. Still a lot of questions remain unanswered. As for the 18 wheel earlier, they were working to get it off of East Freeway. And since then, East Freeway has opened back up and the feet are here on Sheldon. So if you've been stuck in that traffic, it's it's starting to move. And as for the driver, we still don't know who this driver is. Haven't really heard from the company that they say the is who owns that 18 wheeler. Now, deputies did search the 18 wheeler. They didn't find any whip weapons. They said it was going to continue being an investigation. Of course, We've got a full breakdown right now on our website of what exactly happened. And of course, we're going to keep asking those questions because as you can imagine, there's still a lot we don't know. But for the most part, drivers can get through the East Freeway. For now, I'm going to go ahead and send things back in studio. All right, Jalissa, thank you. That uh, suspect, by the way, was rushed to the hospital. Today, we're 